Y'all yeah, got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. I got my honey sauce with me. So, yeah, we are about to get into Mookie and Krishan right now because Mookie allegedly, <sighs> Krishan allegedly stole Mookie's song, but Mookie also allegedly stole Krishan's song in the beginning. Um, I don't know. I just about to read up on it. But before we get into this, I want y'all to know that I got a 40 minute whole video, okay? That me and Honey Sauce just reacted to, and it's some tea and it's piping, baby. It's a marriage scam with uh, a couple and baby. Child, just go look at it. Yeah, it's a Tubi event, okay? Just make sure y'all tap in. All right, let me read this first, though. For those that don't know, allegedly, Mookie said that Krishan stole his song. Now, I already reacted to that, uh, but I'm just going to tell y'all what he said. Nothing about this song was selfish. It hurt me that I didn't get a tag, like, a comment, or nothing. When I posted the song months ago, then to take Tifa out the song is spiteful. I could have at least got tagged in my own song. We family. I put this song together for my family, and and then you changed the name of the song. I dropped this song a couple months ago. I thought I was getting recorded off my Skype visit to be in the video. This song was for mommy and the family. I don't even see none of the Malones in the video. Uh, this is spiteful and evil. Y'all, that whole Malones thing, like, their family is split. I, I don't know if it's split because, well, obviously. Well, wait a minute. Would that mean that Krishan mama cheated on her daddy? Or they broke up? I don't know. The Malones and the other last name children, uh, uh, they be having a beef. But anyway, somebody in the comments said, how you steal your sis song and 10K? Yeah, that, yeah, let's talk about it. He lucky he didn't replace, he lucky she didn't replace him. Tell these folks how you took the record and moved and removed rock verse and added Tifa and then released Krishan record as you and Tifa joined. Now, what this person is talking about is when Krishan flew uh, Mookie out Krishan flew Mookie out to L.A. Remember that time she flew him out there with Blue and her, and she gave him $10,000. And then the nigga left. Uh, allegedly, he left with that song, too. Um, <clears throat> Krishan heart too big for me. They keep doing her wrong, but thank God that God sent her junior. She was, she was even trying to keep them on, spent money and shot the video and everything. He loud and wrong too because she did tag him and she did leave him on but this just goes to show like i've been saying for the longest mookie and tifa was plotting against krishan since he went home in christmas so not i don't in christmas instead of in december that what she said i don't know how accurate this is but krishan definitely flew him out and it is a video of krishan um doing that song with him or whatever uh, in the beginning. But y'all, listen, we got to unwrap this story a little more too because more and more is coming out uh, about them as well. I want to find... This is it. Hold on. Girl, accept it. Now I can't go to it. That's crazy. This must be on Krishan page, though. Hold on, y'all. Because I want to find this before we get up, up out of here. And y'all see the rest of the tea. If you want to skip, go ahead. Because it'll explain a lot. Where is it at? No, no, no. No, no. Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm up a set of prayers, so I'm here to bed. I said a prayer so we made it fair.
don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I want y'all to let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. What you think about that, honey? I don't know what she was saying. Somebody give me some lyrics. I hate to not check know. The, check the city, the city, life looking pretty. What she did say was life looking pretty. Okay, I hope so, because life looking pretty is ugly. Yeah. Okay. Y'all, yeah. um... Let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. But, girl, get into this tea after this, okay? Yes, definitely. Love y'all. Bye. Yeah, we about to get into the Rash <clears throat> Rashonda divorce drama. All right? <coughs> now, Honey Sauce, I need you to get a breakdown of this. Uh, okay. So Not a long-winded one, just something cute. Okay, so basically there's this um, LGBTQIA plus couple that have been together for six years, I believe, married for three. And um, now it's coming out that one of the wives have been being dishonest and stealing money, allegedly. And um, yeah. That's pretty much what it is. And her wife had no clue. Absolutely no clue. So her wife is currently trying to divorce her and sue her. All yes. right. Yes. For her money back. For her money back. Oh, shit. So let's get into the first video. TikTok is left shaking after finding out that famous TikToker Ray Shonda is divorcing her wife, Pastor LaShondra, after she found out that LaShondra was a scammer. Allegedly, Rashonda went on live at like four in the morning and she spilled some tea and I, this is too much for me. She talked about money being stolen, furniture that she thought she owned being repoed. She found out that Pastor LaShondra hates her daughter. She found out that LaShondra was collecting rent illegally from her brother. They're renting Airbnbs and not paying. There is so much to this story. They're about to be evicted and be homeless. LaShondra borrowed money from her friend without telling her, and the friend is about to be homeless. I have over 30 minutes of her life to share, but it's a lot, so I have to split it up. I haven't even watched the entire thing yet. So I've been following Rashonda for a while. She's on TikTok. She this is part one of my deep Damn, dive. TikTok is do left that. shaking after finding out that famous TikTok. So I've been following Rashonda for a while. She's on TikTok. She's on Instagram. She's all her videos are viral. She has over 2.1 million followers and she seems like a really nice person. And I don't think anyone deserves this. The saddest part to me was when she said she turned her life around because her mother gambled her money away and she was homeless. And now mm. her wife is about to make her homeless again. This is what? just some really sad news for me to open this app and see. TikTok is left. She this is part one of that. my deep dive into mm -hmm. Rayshonda and Pastor LaShondra's divorce drama and the scammery of it all. I don't even know if scammery is a word, but I'm in shock. Now I'm trying <laughs> to compile everything and make sure it flows the way it was on live so you can understand what she's saying. So please be patient. I'm gonna repeat myself once I say what I gotta say. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I know y'all gonna be like, no, you shouldn't take it to social media. It's not this worth is Ray it. Shonda. Is. Yeah. It is. Because see, one the thing is one thing that you all fail to minister. realize is that you don't there's no more room under rugs <laughs> to sweep shit. You see what I'm saying? We don't get nowhere by sweeping shit under the rug. We don't we don't get no it's not a joke so I, i'm not doing it um yeah there's no more room so are y'all ready though no we're not going to canceling honey no right we, we, we're past Lord have mercy. We they both the Lord have mercy okay we're starting at the top i need y'all to take notes and write write it down okay Number one. Uh, awful. I say, ah. Uh, Number one. Yep. August 30th. I need you to write that down, okay? Okay. August 30th, I'm backing out of the driveway, me and Jayla. Jayla says, Jayla's her door. Mama, what's that on the front door? I said, I don't know. We get out, go get it off the door. It's a fucking eviction notice. Mm-mm, friend. On my front door. Okay. August 30th. Mm -hmm. Do you hear what I said? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. August 30th. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not lying. I call LaShondra and I say, what the fuck is this on the mm-hmm. door? Mm-hmm. She said, I don't know. It must be a mistake. Okay. Not yeah. anybody's this house. This house is rented. Okay? The house is rented by a black couple and they follow us on social media. Mm. So how fucking embarrassing. How embarrassing. Okay? Right. Okay. She says, I don't know. It must be a mistake. Okay. Same. Listen. We listen. Same day. We're leaving. I got two. I got two gigs. I got two gigs in Atlanta that okay. I got to go to. Okay. Labor Day weekend. Right? Right. My stomach is killing me. Because I can't leave for Atlanta with this fucking eviction notice on the door. Me. I can't even go. We get to Atlanta. I do both of my gigs. Okay. I come back from Atlanta. September 5th. I say, have you talked to the people? What is this eviction notice about? Right. She says, I haven't heard from them. Okay. September 5th. September 6th, I get up and get dressed and go to the rental office. I go to Remax office. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I had to sit across from this man while he prints off all this stuff and tells me what's been going on for the past 11 months. Okay. Okay. Because we ain't been in the house a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. (sighs) Calm down for uh, ho- uh, hold on. What the? Spazzed out a little bit too hard and you made the stuff just go oh, like that. This is part wild one wild. of my deep dive into Ray Shonda uh, and what in Pastor- the hell? Was that done? And go to the rental office. Okay, it was done. Okay. okay. This is part two of my deep dive into Rashonda and LaShondra's divorce drama and the scammery of it all. I know a lot of you want more and want to know what happens next, but listen, the more I get into this, the worse it becomes. Trust me. So just buckle the fuck up. Okay, and I can assure buckle. you there's no one out there that's giving this to you in order. So make sure you're following me. And that's a me. fact, friend, because I, I wasn't about to do it. the funds on August 15th. I okay. pay my boutique rent on the 1st. I pay my house rent on the 15th plus late fees. Okay? Mm-hmm. I sent LaShondra my money August 15th. Mm. Okay? Uh. Not only did she not go online and make the payment, uh, she waited until August 21st to take them a check. August 21st, August 24th, the check bounced. Mm. This is the third NSF charge. Okay? NSF is a bouncing check. Third NSF. So the people file, file eviction, right? Okay. Because they sick up, they sick up asking for their money. So, this is me, September 6th, sitting across from this man in the rental office telling me this. Right. Okay? I'm in tears. Mm -hmm. Why? Because y'all already know my story. I've already been homeless. Hmm. How am I homeless with money in the bank? So, Uh I ask the man, I say, what do... Before she gone, I ain't gonna lie. I have a fear of that as well. And that's why, for those that don't know, I like to pay everything <laughs> for that reason because I know it's going to get paid. Not saying she ain't going to do it because she do. I'm saying for me and my sanity, <laughs> I like to just pay it all so I know it's paid. However, I'm going to tell y'all the connection with me and her. I give her the money. <laughs> okay? So I pay it. I give her the money, she see it went. Do you get what I'm saying? It's no way that it gets paid and you don't see it. Or it's supposed to get paid, but it don't get seen. She's a property manager. So the other wife is a property manager. So she probably wasn't even thinking that. Like, I'm just giving this to my wife. She Because she a property manager. She take care of it. Ah, baby. (laughs) 
<laughs> Let's y'all dry out here doing you dirty, girl. Okay. What do you need now I got your sister name. Right now, okay. He said, I need you to pay September rent. I go to the bank. Okay. I get $2,700 out the bank. Mm-hmm. Okay. $2,700 that I just earned in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I take it to them. Right. I take it to the rental office. He says, I'm not sure if they're going to let you stay. Okay? Listen, this is September 6th. Okay? okay? That, I had to pay $2,000 rent and two court costs because this was not the first time that they had filed eviction on us. Right. This was not the first time. This is the first time I caught it, but this wasn't the first time. April or May, there was another another NSF, mm-hmm. right? Uh-huh. So I say to him, I say, sir, could you please include me? Uh-huh. Please include me since I've been left out. Because as you all know, LaShondra's a property manager, right? Mm-hmm. So the last three houses we've been in, she has found those houses. Mm -hmm. I let her pay. I sent her my half. She's supposed to pay the bills. Okay? Listen to me. The man texts me at 9.30 p.m. Uh, on Wednesday, September 6th. That's too late for minister, y'all. Minister. Unfortunately... The $2,700 that you just gave us, the owners still want to move forward with eviction. Child, I would have burnt that motherfucker down. Because I could have kept that, first of all, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you something. Uh, they wouldn't have got that 2700 Child, had she, had she known that? No. Baby, they wouldn't have got that 2700 anyway. Because you know, now, first of all, we wouldn't even have a situation like this. But you know if we in a financial bind, the most important thing to do is keep the money that you well, have. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But Given see- 2700 uh-uh. Because, see, that's why I be asking questions like, yo, all right, so if I give you this twenty-seven, matter of fact, I'm going to have to speak to the people that I'm giving the 2700 too. Like, I know you mm-hmm. getting this, but I need to speak to the manager because I'm not about to give y'all $3,000 and you just take it. I don't I don't like situations like that. First of all, I wouldn't even been wanting to be in this tainted-ass situation anymore because she wasn't paying anyway. Right. So I would have took my $2,700 and got me a good little hotel, okay, for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. So I figure out my next move with this almost $3,000. It's free. That's what I would have did, but okay. Jesus Christ. Child. Unless you all are out the house by September 30th, by September 30th, it's going on your credit report. This is part two of my deep dive into Rashonda. So you guys know I'm doing a deep dive on Rashonda and LaShondra's divorce drama. Wait a minute. This is part two Where's of part So you guys three? know I'm doing so we're back on okay, part we're three going. of this the deep dive three. of Rayshonda and LaShondra's divorce drama. Rayshonda co-signed on a loan for LaShondra and LaShondra stopped paying. Now before you watch, don't forget to hit that follow button, hit that notification bell so you know when I drop new content. Speaking of credit report. Nigga the- say, run me my money back then. I, it don't happen okay. like that, Malik. They took that money. They to Atlanta. Because they was tired of dealing with her ass. It's been a year. They taking and back you, what was old. To them. Oh, that and that too. It's crazy. I've seen in my videos. On the way to Atlanta, she tells me, oh, by the way, I have defaulted on the loan that you co-signed on Bitch. in 2021. Defaulted as in she didn't pay it back. She stopped fucking paying. Mmm. <laughs> okay. I said, excuse me, you mean the loan that you gaslit me into signing for? Because I don't co-sign for bitches. I don't co-sign for nobody. My children either. I said, so when the last time you made a payment on the loan, LaShondra? She said, May, 
June. It's fucking September. Oh. Okay. Lord of Now me. you're fucking with my credit. Okay. Now you're fucking with my credit. Y'all wanted to know so bad, so that's why we all here. Right? Okay. Let it out, sis. So, here we go. Me sitting outside my boutique crying at 930 at night because because this man has told us that we have to move. Okay? Right. And then he says, oh, by the way, the sewer bill, sewer and water bill is more than 90 days past due. Like, who don't? That balance will have to be paid also. I'm not paying that shit. <laughs> I'm the queen of fuck all that. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all right now. I'm the queen to fuck all that till later. Obviously, later, you're going to have to pay it. But fuck all that right now. Because first of all, y'all done took my 2700 on top of two uh, uh, court fees. And the court fees, y'all, be 250 They 250 in Georgia. Okay. Okay, so I don't know how much they are wherever she is, but they 250 here. So that was 2700 on top of 500 Baby, that was 3200 off. Okay? So I am out of $3,200, and now you want to... Uh, Come to me asking me for power and sewage. First, first of all, why am mm. I paying for anything? Girl. <laughs> Over it. That bitch would have ran into the wrong person that day because you going to give me my money. Uh, LaShondra, you going to run me my bag back okay. is what you going to do. This is in the group chat that I've never been in before. So I say, OMG. Do you know what LaShondra put in that group chat, y'all? She simply said, what's past due? Question mark. Excuse me, everything. You heard what the fuck he said. Why would you put that in the doggone group? Um, you heard what he said. He said, okay. we got to move out, and the water and sewer bill is more than 90 days past due. Like, fuck past due, honey. We are evicted. Oh. Dude. Okay. I shut down. Right? Oh. I'm not talking. I ain't talked to her for two days. I still ain't talked to her. So Friday, because y'all need to write these dates down. Uh -huh. Friday, <laughs> September Give 8th, on that iPad. I'm packing to leave for New York Fashion Week because I get paid to do what the fuck I do. Hello. Okay, so I'm going. Hello. We're back on part three of the oh, deep shit. dive of racial. I want to issue a public apology oh. to all the people that I have hurt. I'm currently doing a deep dive into the Rashonda and Lashandra situation with their divorce. And I said that Rashonda was on live at four in the morning. And a lot of people were offended because she was on live at 11. So I am sorry. I got oh, that wrong. Nah, she was on live at 11. I'm not sure how that is going to affect your day. And We're on part people. four of the deep anyway. dive of Rashonda and Lashandra's situation. We're at the part where Rashonda said she thought they owned their dining room table, but it was rented and it got repoed. So can you imagine? <laughs> Baby, who at the door? Uh, a rental center, apparently. What they want? The table? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. We done been through some shit. But, baby, we ain't renting no table. We not renting a table. That's why we buy the shit. Buy that. I right, get it. We don't rent these Apple Watches. She even we not the renting these the iPads. We don't rent these computers. Y'all ain't coming to take this shit. Only thing we is renting in this damn apartment in that car. I halfway don't want to rent them. Okay? Over it. I'm packing for New York Fashion Week. And to she take a table is, is talking just... about, I don't want to go another day with you mad at me and we not talking. Mm -hmm. I said, LaShondra, my mama gambled away my money and I ended up homeless, okay? Living in Louisville, Kentucky. And I didn't speak to my mama for over a year. Probably wouldn't have never you spoke to her You want me again. to speak to you after 48 hours, okay. less than 48 hours of family? Girl, now, how you. the hell did that happen? And now that we didn't evict How did you pause from over here? Are you dumb? I'm not talking to you. So, she then 
<laughs> when I said, LaShondra, I don't want to talk to you because I'm going to say something that I may regret. Uh-uh. Don't you know that LaShondra then left her ass over into my face, nose to nose, talking about you going to talk to me? Girl, fuck you. In my face. Girl, talk about you a don't broke get nose. at me because I'm mad okay. at you. Do you want to? Okay. Do you want to? Yeah. She's oh, like, I think she said, do you want to DIA? You, I'm going to, yep. I'm going to leave because you're talking out of anger. I said, no, I'm not talking out of anger. I will dead. I will put my hands on you. On a live you okay? right now. Hell, you talking so, about. That was and hell, September you talking 8th. Too. <laughs> That's the last time that I seen LaShondra face to face. Because not only have you triggered me by now making me homeless again, now you're jumping in my face like my ex-husband. Uh -oh. Now I'm going to have to put you in there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, shit. So here we are. You don't went too I far. I leave. I go to New York. I enjoy New York. I'm on my way back. I'm on my way back from the airport. Uh, and her mom calls, you uh, know, trying to figure out what's going on. But the one thing that her mom said to me that shut my whole spirit down, she said to me, Rashonda, everybody lies. Excuse me, what? Mm -hmm. So the mama's a gaslighter too. She says everybody lies. Uh, Lady, this isn't a lie. This is my livelihood, okay? Oh! These gaslighting ass parents. The parentals. That's how them children got it. Oh, God. Awful. Oh. <clears throat> Take your time. See, <laughs> the first time I left LaShondra was December of 2021. Uh, I went and stayed in a hotel for a few days uh, because she lied about the dining room table. <laughs> she told me that her uh, mama gifted us the dining room table. Like? In January of 2021. December 2021, I get a knock at my door from Renna Center uh, to repo a fucking table. Yo, repoing a table is out of control. I'm not going to lie. That is petty. Now, I'm all over the internet. I'm all over the internet. I could buy 14 fucking tables. Okay. Right now. But you rented a table and lied about a damn table. Okay. Why? Who does that? For why? Insanity. Huh? Your okay. wife. Mm -hmm. Insanity. Oh. LaShonda was on live today answering some Answer questions. questions. We got They're at part that. five of the okay. Rashonda and LaShondra drama. On this part of the live, Rashonda is talking about all the money she's finding out that LaShondra was borrowing from her friends. Ooh, Don't forget to hit oh, that follow button to oh. get the latest pop culture content. I said, oh, how you when borrowing I came back, from my friends and I don't know? Child, why wouldn't the friends say One, 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 one. Uh, what is going on? Okay. LaShondra? Okay. Mm -hmm. snap. If you lie to me again, I'm leaving. Okay? That was 2021. Nah, that table would have pissed now, me off. Now, here we are back in 2023. I'm sitting at the airport. The the uh, the rental property, property that she applied for, because we got to move, denied us. Why? Because she ain't paid you nobody. fucked up credit, and now you brought my credit down. Oh! Because you just told me that you defaulted on the loan that I co-signed on. So, of course, it's not going to get approved. Okay? <laughs> Listen. You know, that I don't know where that pissed off like So, here we go. So, then I called my best friend. Right? I said, best friend, this is what is going on. Okay, she says to me, well, friend, let me tell you, do you know that LaShondra borrowed a thousand dollars from me and my wife? How am I supposed to know that? You didn't tell what? me. I said, when? When did she borrow a thousand dollars from 
my my best friend. Now, before we go any further, would you be mad at the friend? Because how is it that that money was borrowed, but you ain't say nothing to me? Now, I don't even know what happened, like how she didn't know, because obviously I'm still watching this, but I would be mad at the friend. I mean, yeah, my spouse told me not to say that. If my spouse, as in... You, as if you told me not to say it, I wouldn't say it. But we the ones who let her hold the money? Yeah. Jesus. She said about a month before y'all got married. Well, nobody got laid with you, but that me. y'all needed money right. for <laughs> finish paying for your dress and some other stuff. I said my oh. daddy bought my dress. A what? I was gonna say yes to the dress. Okay, you think they gonna let me walk out of Kleinfeld on them? Child. Huh? They said they thought I knew. They didn't know that I didn't know that she borrowed money from my friends. You did. You just thought it was a gift. Yes, yeah, she told me that they gifted us a thousand dollars. Oh, she did not say that she borrowed a thousand dollars from my friend. Oh, it took her a year and a half to pay them back, and they see us out here living our lives and feeling some type of way. Oh, because my wife owes them money, and I don't know it. Oh, okay. So now, now I'm living. Yeah, see, voice, now that's how it. I feel. I say, I'm going to lay down. I'm going to lay down. Okay? The next day I get up, I go to the boutique. I'm talking to my friend Ashley at the boutique. I'm telling her, bitch, I'm about to be homeless again. No, you and all the other that. shit well, that I found so nice. out. And you know what she says to me? She says, well, friend. Right. I said, well, friend, what? LaShondra owes me money from June. Jesus, be the fish. What in the Here what? Here we are, part six the of hell? the LaShonda and LaShondra divorce drama. Rashonda talks about LaShondra hating her daughter, and that's her stepdaughter. LaShondra allegedly stole Airbnb <sighs> money and did not pay the people. She also said that LaShondra was collecting rent through her personal cash app for the company that she works for. And I'm like, girl, collecting that rent through the personal cash illegal. app is. Crazy. I said, well, friend, what? LaShondra owes me money from June. And this another friend. I say, what? She said she owes me money from June. I said, for what? I owe you money she for says, what? <laughs> when her pastor, when her bishop came down, they stayed at the Airbnb upstairs above the boutique. And I haven't been paid. Okay? <clears throat> so then I get on the phone. And I call LaShondra's bishop and I say, hey, my friend Ashley says her and her husband hasn't been paid for the Airbnb, correct? For the Airbnb stay when y'all came down. Okay, mm -hmm. that. Okay. She hung, she said, let me send you the screenshot. She hung the phone up. <laughs> she hung the phone up and sent me the screenshot. They sent LaShondra that money June 26th. Oh. Okay. June 26th. So if you sent the money... My mama always said, know who you're laying with. Y'all could be laying with a, 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 with a damn stranger. June 26th. It's a stranger. Then why hasn't my friend Ashley my been God. paid for the Airbnb stay? Mm. Where's the fucking money? Where it's at? Okay. <laughs> Where is it, friend? Every time uh -huh. I talk to somebody, uh -huh. she owes them money. Okay? Think of over it. Okay? <clears throat> My brother mm -hmm, friend. has been cash apping LaShondra his rent for the past 12 months. Because oh. he lives on that property. Your brother getting evicted. I said, what, Morris? He said,
said, yeah, for the past year. So y'all tell me, do y'all think that LaShondra is going to go to the ATM machine or anywhere no. and withdraw that money, Hell get a no money friend. order, I knew where you was going and run it through the system? Because she no. can't run it through as herself because That's she so works hard. there. But it's the fact that you're accepting federal money through your personal cash app. Okay, so I'm a little slow in this moment. I need help. She's a property manager. Got that. So her being a property manager, putting people in these properties, correct? Right. So she's working for like a Keller. She, well, I don't know. I wouldn't think she would be working for a Keller. She would be working for a, for, it should be herself. Which uh, means these would the be government. her, you know, these would be her properties. This would be her property. So y'all saying section eight, cause I'm trying to figure out how it would be federal. So section eight makes sense. Right. So instead of them sending it or him sending it to section eight. Okay. So she got government housing. So that's what it is. So because you have people on section eight and you're taking their government money, section eight, that is government money on your cash app instead of you receiving it. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah. What? She accepts vouchers on her property. What? Okay, so that's what I'm saying. So what are, what are you asking, baby? What made him think that it made sense to cash at her that rent money? Because you know that it's not going into like... Like it's not... I don't... <laughs> I'm lost. I, I don't know why. I don't know why he. Um, I don't know why he would. But most just, just out of strength of who they are. Right. It's because you know it's his sister's wife. I get that part. That's just. That's just where that's gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna keep listening because I just. I I was I was with it until then. Okay. <laughs> if he works, he has to pay rent. I know. But two sections. The children hates Jayla. She talked, I found out she talked so bad about my child that it brought tears to my eyes. Telling her that she needs to grow up. She, she don't need Lord to be asking me for money. The rest. My child. Ah. My child. So whatever she was paying him, he wasn't paying that portion. So it looked like he Just would have been, huh? Just the government was paying. He right. Paying so it would he would be delinquent on the government's Correct. end because the government is like, nigga, all right, we paid our half. What the hell is your half? Right. That's fine. Meanwhile, your mom co-signed for your car and you're 46, 47. So how can you, yes, talk dirt bad about Jayla? Call her nasty, call her all kind of stuff. My baby. Here we are, part six of the Rashonda. So Rashonda just Not posted mine. a TikTok, and she basically explained why Again, she's doing what she's doing. Rashonda, she wants to get this now. off her chest. She wants to move on with her life. Shine. The background is clearly a text message from Lashandra, and I don't really care about what it says. Yeah, we can't see. You can you pause to read it if you want. But what I care about is the bottom half of it. Let me shut you down. I'm truly sorry, Rashonda. I truly understand now. I am not sure where the blockage came from on my end. And I'm still trying to work through that. I just got out of therapy and now I'm headed back across the bridge. I'm sorry, truly sorry. Where she's saying, I'm sorry, I love you. And if you feel up to it, meet me at the house. Girl, I know you don't know me. Do not go anywhere and meet <laughs> that woman alone. Don't yeah, go, with, don't go, just don't go. Mm -mm. I do not have a good feeling about this. Rashonda, if you want to meet her, Meet her in public where there's cameras and make sure you're not the only one there. You just outed this woman for being the scammer and narcissist that she is. Okay. This is not going to go well if you meet her alone. Now, this is what she said in the TikTok. This is going to be my last video on any of this. We got to get yeah. back to our regular scheduled content because I still have a lot of living to do. This will not consume me, okay? But I want to say several things. Number one, for those that are like, this is messy. Why would she bring it to the internet? Whoop, 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 blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing. I am very aware 
that this can be convoluted, things can be stretched and changed no matter what I say, okay? But it's the fact that I had to release it, okay? I had to get it off of me. And whether you all believe me or not, it's not it's, it's irrelevant, okay? This is happening to me. I'm living this. It doesn't matter how you feel about it, okay? Also, I would like to say this. It had to happen now. It had to be exposed now. Okay, because where I'm going, she just couldn't go. Yeah. And that's okay. Everything else that comes after this, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with burning a bridge while I'm standing on it to Hello. let somebody know that I'm not to be fucked with. Hello. Do you understand what I'm saying? I know how to build it's them, okay. baby. So whether you all believe me or not, mm -hmm. whether you feel like I should have known something or not is irrelevant. Guess what? Every morning I got to wake up. Number one, realize I'm going through this. Well, let me start over. Number one, realize that my mom is dying, okay? My mom has moderate to severe Alzheimer, okay? I have to feel, I have to deal with that every day. And now this, okay? So I, I don't really have a lot of room and space for any of your thoughts and feelings about how you feel about me. I'm not going to beat myself up about what y'all feel like I should have known or saw. All I know is the apology came two days after I was notified that we were being evicted. Two days it took you to say, I get it. I'm sorry. Oh, so, so this right here is the proof of, because everybody thinks she lying. Mm. Okay. I'm not understanding how you triggered me because I had already been through homelessness over 10 years ago. And I would never go back. You triggered me for him jumping in my face like you want to jump bad on me. You triggered me. Now you get it? So you can't tell me that I wasn't married to a narcissist. I was. So I don't care how y'all feel about it. This is my last post about it. We're getting back to our regular scheduled content. Part seven of the Rashonda and Lashandra drama. Lashonda said she found out that Lashandra stole money from a church in L.A. Apologize if it's getting jumbled at this point. It's still the from I the can. church for me. And, and the screenshot said, I'm going to send you the invoice from Deliverance by Grace because I can't send it from hello at rllockhart.com without notifying Rashonda. It says it. Why wouldn't you want me notified about my own motherfucking funds? Why wouldn't you want me notified that somebody's trying to pay me? Right. You lay right next to me and didn't say, hey, babe, somebody reached out trying to pay you for some work that you did. My question is, what is she doing with the money? I'm in a bad Tubi movie, y'all. Yeah. So y'all can think whatever y'all want to about <laughs> About He's going me. in his order for I will be a villain. But when I say that I'm done, then I'm done. Speak your truth, friend. Thank you, friend. I'm done. And I'm glad that I got it out. I don't think I the missed Rashonda the part, friend. A Here this was part six. six. The Rashonda and seven this is seven. The Rashonda yeah. and Lashandra drama. So what y'all don't Rashonda know is she... um, the friend... She... So, so after part... she borrowed money from another friend, she had... Got another got another friend on the phone, which was her best friend who did a poem at her wedding. And basically she was saying, well, friend. And she was like, well, damn, like everybody got something to say. Well, she said, like, basically, you know, you did something for me. Like you had did like a commercial or something or whatever for me, you know, and I wanted to pay you. So you were busy. So I hit up your wife and your wife basically said that, you know, I'm going to have to send it from my church because it basically her, her wife would have been notified and that's why she's saying well why the hell wouldn't i want to be notified about my fun money okay so um girl y'all got me fucked up this a mess hmm. girl i need some wine over here oh i swear i was thinking the same thing <laughs> eight, i'm gonna drop part eight and nine and that concludes the live from last night but i have the rest of the live that she did today where she was answering questions from people I just want to warn you, this part of the live was when she said she found out that her wife of six years has a criminal six record. Years. She went to jail for fraud, allegedly. Rashonda was with LaShondra for over six years and she did not know that she had a criminal record. She says she believes her marriage is a scam. 
Don't forget to hit uh, that follow well, button. Yeah. It's going to be a long night. There's more tea to drop. So I go to Fresh Fire where we used to go to church. I go to Fresh Fire because we had our mental health awareness day. I'm supporting my friend. I go to the church. I talk to pastor after church to let him know what's going on. And he says to me, Ray, there has been three occasions where I had to talk to LaShondra about missing money. Ah. See, she didn't bet on me going back to Fresh Fire because she left Fresh Fire. Mm -hmm. oh. hey, I, had I wish I had one. I've been it won't come out. <laughs> something that I've heard. I mean, I'm not... Anyway, we uh -huh. go to church afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh. We go to taco place uh. after church. And pastor says something to the effect of, you know, she needs to stop this before she goes back to jail. Back! Now I'm three excuse margaritas me, in. So I had to take my shades off. I said, excuse me, back. Okay. <laughs> Back to jail. Friend, this ain't it. Wait till you get to the second line. Okay. When was Shonda been right in jail? Back. <laughs> for fraud? Okay. Girl, she's sick of her ass. Yeah, I'm trying to drink with you, friend. I ain't when got no somebody going to tell me? I believe with my whole heart that she sought me out, that she Googled me, that she found out who I was and what I was doing. I ain't gonna lie. They do have a Tubi movie like this. Um, What the hell is that damn movie called? Uh, basically, uh, a man was, a whole group was together to scam people that have like life insurance policies or money coming in inheritances and shit like that. And what the nigga did was married the woman. And then the woman cheated on him with another woman. And the woman she cheated on him with was his partner. Mm -hmm. So she filmed it. And that's what they used in court because she cheated when he divorced her. And he got half the damn money. They got half the money. And half the money was like up to like, I don't know, maybe I, I think it was like $100 million altogether. So $50 million was taken away from her. That's Candy's movie. Yep. And she inserted herself crazy. into my life. This was a whole scam. <laughs> the whole marriage, everything was a scam. I don't believe, I don't believe nothing she's ever said to me. So this is part eight. I'm going to drop part eight and nine. And that concludes uh, the live somebody from say last Google night. Me do but it. I have the rest of the live that she did today where she was answering questions. Okay, I can't keep going. So I guess. All right, we're going to conclude the video, this video with this. Um, yeah. And y'all, I got to throw Krishan in the beginning. <laughs> but uh, listen, y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm going to just give you my little piece. This is absolutely crazy like this is like a movie like for real um i think that woman did saw out for her um and i think she played on her weakness of that happening like her uh, from her mom doing it because if you do it to you know if you can get away with it once somebody can get away with it again just do it in a different way per se and it's like she played on everybody around her her friends, um, her her brother, and it's like birds of a feather flock together type mm -hmm. shit. So they all have that same mentality. Like for everybody not to know what was going on at the same time is crazy. Like your wife bought, bought, borrowed money from <laughs> me. Oh, but she owed me money. And that's crazy. Meanwhile, all these friends looking at their friend that they've known forever to not do no shit like that. 
and not say. And maybe that's because they don't know how to fucking communicate. Because it's like, hey, listen, <laughs> hey, I, you know, we've been friends for a long time, sis. Uh, but something going on with your wife. You know what I'm saying? Do you know that she owes me a thousand dollars? Right. Do you know that, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, I would have been talking to her. I would have ha- I would have had to speak to one of them because I would have felt some type of way, especially if you owe me money. You know what I'm saying? So that's the problem with friends and shit. They don't communicate. And not everybody, but when you have that group, just look at it, y'all. Like, the whole group works the same. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of kind of crazy that the whole group works the same. Everybody just keeping these secrets and not saying that she owed him for nothing. That's kind of crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, what you think, honey sauce? Yeah, I'll be at a loss for words because I just, uh, you know how they, like you said, you know, you're supposed to know who you lay down with. Like, you don't think about bringing things back to the table. Like, hey, did you decide to go rob a bank today? You know what I'm saying? Right. I, like, for real, like, baby, baby actually asked me that today. But, like, no, like, I Google people. Like, I don't know if that's, like, call it what you want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, but I Google people. You got so to know. So I feel like she should have Googled her. Um, I feel like maybe this was kind of planned out, but not in the beginning. I feel like in the beginning, it could have been all butterscotch and cookies, and flowers and butterflies in the beginning. And I just feel like she just played on, like you said, her weaknesses, which will be she has a big ass heart and she neglects certain things when she's busy. So she just knew how to manipulate her and get her money out of her. And by being on TikTok, she getting showered with gifts every day. So she she ain't even thinking about that too. You know, like money, like yeah, Yeah. like man. Because this ain't the first time she said like. I mean, so you had to leave you leave your house once before to go to a hotel. So it's evidently you already knew that your wife was a liar. So you decided to stay. So So is. That's my other issue because you know what I'm it's saying? like, okay, she already lied several times. About a table. Hello? And don't get me Where wrong, people, people get three strikes, right? But a table. That table would have pissed me off. Because, first of all, like she said, I could buy 14 tables if I want to. Uh, why the fuck you couldn't tell me that, that you needed a you table? You needed a, a, a table, but B, that we, you needed help paying on the table. It's like she, the wife was trying to look like she was balling. You know what I'm right. saying? Like to her wife. But her wife is already balling, right. which that might be the problem. Maybe she's trying to keep up with her wife. Because her wife is the one who got the money. You can't keep up with the Joneses if you ain't got the Joneses. You, you can't. Okay. So you at that point, you, Joan, you, right? your best bet was to ask if she could buy a table. Right. Hello. <laughs> like, can, baby, can you buy us a table? You I... supposed to come into the relationship with a table anyway. I'm just I'm just saying. That, that, you know what? That's number one. But number two, why didn't you see that that table got dropped off by Renner Center? And, and maybe I'm tripping because, you know, we in-house work. People go to work. But she's a TikToker. Maybe she was out of town. She all, she be booking busy now. This is why they ever... This is why... For one, I feel like this is why the friends probably ain't say nothing either. Because she booked and busy, baby. I got to... I'm busy. I got you know what I'm saying? Do. So she... They probably be thinking, like, I'm I'm going to say something. But by the time it's some, something to say, you know what I'm saying? I'm at one of your events. It's not the time to say anything. So I'm going to hold off. And then next thing you know, you're holding off for too long. And now here it is. It's blowing up in her face. And now she got to tell her friend that I have not told you everything, you know? So, boys, that's the same thing that I'm saying. That lady don't look like she got no money. She really don't look like she got no money. Who are so, you talking about, LaShondra? Yes. Oh, that's not who I was talking about. No, no, not you. I'm talking oh, about Voice. Okay. I'm Vo- talking about Ra- Voice Ray saying she thought that's what it was, too, but she don't have nothing to show for that money. So it's like, you want to look like you balling, but not looking like it. So it's and, like, and, where was the money going? And and that's just what she liked, y'all, for real. But that's what everybody asking. It got to be Where food. is the money going to? It but that's just food. what she liked, honey. Even even her wife was like, I don't wear that. It gotta be food. 
it's get, for one, it's more <sighs> to this story, but I can't say too much. Okay? It's more to the story. Just know that the money isn't just being spent on food. Okay? Just where your mind went is exactly what she's spending her money on. Mm. All right now. All right Alexa, now. Alexa, make the light Carolina blue. All right now. Oh, you a damn lie. All right, y'all, let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Of course, I'm putting Krishan in the beginning. So I want to know, uh, matter of fact, <laughs> I got to react to it. All right, bye, y'all.